The food for this food video was chosen with the help of my Patreon supporters. Go to patreon.com slash prozd if you want to help choose the next food. Okay, see ya. Time to try everything in Jollibee's. Now, Jollibee? Jollibee. Jollibee? Jollibee. Jollibee, okay. Happy bee. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I am a happy bee. I'm here uh, with uh, my friend Dave. He is the, the Jollibee master. Um, he is the <laughs> he's the representative of Jollibee. Yeah, I'm, a, uh, I'm, a, I'm a cultural ambassador. Exactly. Uh, I, uh, so, Dave, just uh, you want to introduce yourself and your connection to Jollibee? I am Dave. I am Dave Allegra. I work in the animation industry. Um, my connection to Jollibee is that I'm Filipino, so if you cut me, like Jollibee gravy comes out of me because uh, I bleed gravy. It's super popular in the Philippines and I lived in the Philippines for a long time and coming here it was really nice to see Jollibees like pop up. Mm. I will say that there is like a very marked difference between US Jollibees and Filipino Jollibees Ooh. but uh, you know it's like uh, you know we're working with what we got. And is it like way way better over there? Uh, or like I just think it's different like okay. it's like it almost feels fancier here in the States. Ah, uh, but is that a good thing? Uh, I mean, the taste is a little bit different, but mm. I love Jollibee. Right? Okay. Well, the reason uh, why we're doing it uh, here is because I don't have a Jollibee near me, and so Dave has graciously allowed me to order all this here. We're gonna have a feast. Where should I start? Do you like saving the best for last? I do. Get the sandwich. Okay. Place. Oh boy. All right. Like, I have a very low opinion of the of the burgers and sandwiches yeah. because, you know, I feel like for the uninitiated, people only come to Jollibee for either the chicken or the spaghetti or the palabok, okay. which is like, you know, noodles. Yeah. Or like a burger steak where you have a burger patty with gravy with rice. Mm. Having it in a sandwich between these, I think that it's called bread or <laughs> something disgusting like that. Weird, yeah. Weird, man. All right. This is, I believe, the yum burger. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a lot of toppings on it. Just kind of... Yeah, don't hold back. All right. Okay. It just, it's just like a patty and like a t the tiniest wisp of gravy. It's fine. I don't hate it. This might be the flatline C. On the A to F scale, it's going to be a C. And that's going to be where we're going to base everything off of. This is the pineapple quencher. Um... I like the pineapple puncher. That's pretty good. I'm gonna say this is like a solid B. Will you put your... My, my discarded burgers? <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. The cheesy yum burger, I think? Maybe. There is definitely cheese on that. There is definitely cheese on that. Okay, it's not bad. Uh, very wet. Maybe a little bit better, just because there's sauce and cheese. I'm gonna say C plus. Okay, we got a paper towel. Okay, this is what the original chicken. That's so funny because I didn't even know the Jolly Bee had chicken sandwiches. <laughs> so calling it original is. Needs more sauce. Um, it's not bad. But not that dry. I just did a Popeyes video though, and so man, it's really hard to compare. Like this is pretty plain. This is also gonna be a C. All right, oh, spicy. It's got greens on it. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, it's nutritious. For you, for you, health conscious. It's like a deluxe one. What do the wrappers say? Spicy? I think it's the spicy deluxe. That's a pretty big chicken. Uh, okay, it's fine. I do like the spice. Uh, I'm gonna say, you know what? B minus. It's whoa. It's it's not bad. This is maybe just the spicy sandwich. Is that like, what's that? Jalapenos in there? What is that? That definitely looks like a real vegetable. Yeah, it's like a real vegetable. Okay. You know, kudos on them to actually put like jalapenos on it. Um, Does it do anything? Yeah, I mean. You can taste it. B minus just because of the jalapeno. Okay. Oh, this might be the spicy one. Maybe the original. I think the spicy one, they just put a jalapeno in there. Mm. And that's and that's spicy. Uh, so yeah, uh, the other one actually had like a, you know, spice to it. What did I say, B minus before? B minus again. It's again, it's all the same. The Big Yum Burger? Maybe that one's the Aloha. Looks like it, maybe like mayo or something? Maybe two patties?
Okay. I've always associated like Jolly Bee Burgers with like burgers you would find like at like a ball game or like a, mm. you know like a stand that you would find at like a sporting event or I a see. park. I've had the burger. What is it? The burger steak. Mm -hmm. And I like that. And so it's really interesting that the patties are like that. They're like almost like a uh, fucking what do you call it? like uh, a hamburger uh, helper. Not hamburger helper. What the hell am I thinking? Like a hamburger steak. It's like an elevated Salisbury, Salis or local mocha or Salisbury mm. steak or something yeah. like that, right? Yeah. It's interesting that the patties are like that. That's okay. Uh, B minus. Yeah, I think all. I think anything that's like inoffensive is gonna be like a B minus. Mm -hmm. um, there was like the deluxe one, a spicy deluxe one, an Aloha chicken, a bacon chicken. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I'm just gonna bite it. But it's deluxe. But there's sauce yeah, on it. Yeah, sauce, I guess. Yeah! So, how does it compare to like a McDonald's like chicken sandwich? Like a, like a... It's definitely better because there's a lot more chicken. Um, better quality, but the, uh, you know, McDonald's chicken sandwich is like, it's a low bar. And I like McDonald's chicken sandwiches. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the size of the chickens are really good. Yeah, the, the size is pretty good. So this has all been B minus. Anything that's, these burgers, B minus, B minus, unless it's inoffensive. Okay, this looks like bacon and cheese. Looks like something you get from like KFC or something. Okay. Decently juicy. It's not like amazing, mm -hmm. but it's not dry. This bacon is like. So it, um, it looks anemic. Yeah, very anemic. It's bacon. Bacon. You know, it's fine. B minus. It's fine. Okay. Two more sandwiches, and we can get to the good stuff. I think these are both Aloha. This is, I believe, the same thing as before, but it has a pineapple ring. Where do you fall with pineapples on burgers? They're fine. Like, I don't go out of my way for it, but I am not opposed to it. I like it. I'm gonna say B? I like the pineapple. I think it adds a nice sweetness. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's pretty good. This is also Aloha Pineapple. <laughs> Better on the burger. I think it's okay on here. But I think the pineapple goes better with like beef. With chicken, I could I could go. Does it fight? No, it doesn't fight, but it doesn't make me go, oh, I like it, you know? It's like, uh, it's just there. I'm gonna say, maybe like a C plus. I actually think the pineapple works better on a regular burger. Okay. Woo, we did it. Fucking job, burger guys. time done. Since you've been in Burger Town, yeah. you should have a burger steak. Okay. Dave was warning me about a faux pas. Don't use a fork with rice. Yeah, you gotta use a spoon. It's there. Like, can I like, use a fork with this with the burger steak? Like, I guess so. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go. Let's go with this burger steak here. I like it's got a mushroom on there. See, I love that kind of shit. Just put meat, put some gravy on it, and rice. I can eat that shit up. Um, I don't think the meat quality is incredible, but that's not the point of it, right? The point of it is just, it's satisfying to eat gravy covered meat. So I'm gonna say, A minus. Mm, okay. Now, if you, if, if you, if I surprise you with any hot takes, feel free to chime yeah, and be no, like, no, no, like no. how dare you? No, no, um, it's, it's good. I mean, like it's a burger patty with yeah. gravy and rice. It's good, uh, yeah, you can't really complain, right? What is even in here? We have tenders, I think. Oh. <laughs> oh, spaghetti, okay. All right, chicken tenders. I've always think, thought ch chicken tenders are a waste of time. I guess that's the sauce for it. Okay. Yeah, do what you can. Let's try it without the sauce. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's so bad. Take a bite of those. That's so bad. Feels like I bit into a desert. Yeah, let's try it with sauce. Ooh. Fucking sinking canes over here. <laughs> Man, their chicken sandwiches have been pretty good so far. So this is just like a huge downgrade. So dry. Dry, not crispy, like flavorless. Not flavorless, but very plain. D minus. That's very 
very generous. Be nice. <laughs> like, this is stuff that you buy for your child that is very picky, and yeah. they won't eat anything Yeah, else. like, I only want chicken tenders. Yeah. Yeah. No. Do not get the chicken tenders. Let's just go through sides. Yeah. Fries. I don't hit Are you a mushy fry guy or crispy fry guy? Crispy. I kind of like them mushy. This is kind of like in between, which I like. This they're not, they're under salted for me, but yeah. B minus. I think they're pretty good. Biscuit. I did not know they did biscuits. Pretty plain. Um, kind of wish it was a little more buttery. Doesn't say you could have the gravy with it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I mean, let me try it with the gravy. Do a dipper. Do a dipper. It helps, but. It's okay. It's okay. The good part is the gravy. <laughs> C plus. They're kind of eh. They. I feel like a lot of other fast food places do biscuits a lot better. Whoa, <laughs> that is congealed. Okay. Interesting to know. I, I've never seen. Like I didn't know they had biscuits. I didn't know they had chicken sandwiches. I didn't know they had chicken tenders. Yeah. Mac and cheese. Like I didn't know they had all of KFC. Like yeah. on their menu. <laughs> It's not bad. Uh, it's just very, you know, it's more cheesier than I thought it would be. I don't, I don't hate it. B, I think, I think we're good. Mashed potatoes. B? Higher than a B minus, jeez. I'm just a sucker for that kind of shit, okay. you know? Okay, You don't have foods like that it's where fair. you're like, mm, it's, it's kind of shit, but I kind of like, like it. I like it, yeah. Kind of like a SpaghettiOs thing. Mm -hmm. All right, mashed potatoes. They're mashed potatoes. I've never really given a shit about mashed potatoes, TBH. I think they're fine. These are, the, I think the gravy obviously helps. I do like their gravy. I don't know, C plus, it's fine. Not offensive. No, don't, nothing except the tenders have been offensive. Did you want to try the adobo rice before moving on to the- Yeah, let's do the, let's do the adobo rice. Okay. I've never had that before. It's all right. Um, here, you try it. Um, it's okay. What are your thoughts? It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfectly all right. I mean, it's for eating with other things. So, I don't know. It's like, um. Rice is a bit mushy. It has been mushy. And not as flavorful as I would like it to be. Um, I wonder if that's due to the delivery? Maybe. But even then, I think, like, flavor wise, it would shine more, regardless, right? It's okay. Uh, try putting a spoonful of gravy okay. on it. You know, just put gravy on everything, baby. Mm. Yeah, it helps, but it's just because I like gravy. Yeah. Right? yeah. I'm gonna say C. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's okay. It's alright. Um, like I, I wouldn't really see a reason to get this over white rice. Right. So. So the spaghetti is a controversial item for some people. Yeah, some people don't like how sweet it is. Um, this has hot dogs in it too, right? Have you had the spaghetti before? I have. Okay. Yes. It's been a long time though. I love cut up hot dogs. I, uh, and it's got like cheese on it too. Let's just get a little bit of everything in there. So it's very sweet, but I, I like it. Um, I think me, I'm a sucker for like, when you put lunch meat and stuff, <laughs> yeah, just like yeah, yeah, cut yeah. up hot dogs. I like that it's kind of like a little a little sweet. It's definitely like so distinct, right? Because if it was just like basic ass spaghetti, it would suck, right? But because it's got like, you know, the sweetness and the hot dogs. There's like kind of a double negative thing going because like if yeah. you look at it, yeah. everything looks really fake. Yeah. <laughs> the cheese looks fake. The right. noodles are like fake yellow. Yeah. They're like hot dog bits. The sauce is sweet. Yeah. Like on paper, it feels like it shouldn't work. Yeah. But there is a kind of unpretentiousness about it that's mm. just like, well, you just want, like, we cut all the time, you yeah, know? Putting right. a bunch of cruddy things that we like together sometimes turns out all right. Yeah, you just want, like, you know, cheap-ass shit, right? Uh, like, that's 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 a compliment, by yeah. the way. I like that kind of stuff. I'm gonna say A-. minus. I think it's good. All right. Ooh, you gotta be high, you think? No, 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 no. That, that's, that's good. A- that's good. is good. I think A- minus is pretty high praise. I'm, yeah. I'm, a pretty, I'm a pretty picky guy in I, terms of ratings. I'm pretty, it takes a lot to get to the A range. I was pretty sure that, like, I was like, oh, it's probably gonna, it's probably gonna be like a B, B plus. So okay. it's, a, it's a surprise. Palabok. <clears throat> um, it looks like that they didn't include the like lemon packets because you're supposed to, like, drizzle lemon oh. on top. 
Do you happen to have, I don't know. I don't think I have any lemons on me, okay. sadly. Well, we'll but, just try it without them. But uh, you gotta mix that up first. You gotta give it a good mix. Okay, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to do that. I think, uh, why, why don't you, why don't you try a piece of chicken or something? Okay, let's go, let's go with the chicken. Now. Oh, oh uh, important yeah. for the chicken, it looks like they might not have given us our extra rices. Oh, okay. So just take from the burger steak. All right. The order of operations is that you got to pour some gravy on the rice, or the chicken, or both, and just like mm. have it all together. Okay. The gravy is like essential. You okay. Can't just like have a bite of chicken and that's and that's. Well, it. I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna have a bite with of the chicken first, and then I'm gonna add the gravy. Again, just put gravy on everything. All right. Let's go with the bite. Nice and juicy. Okay. Yeah. It's good. Let's do the gravy dip. Oh, that slaps. Um, oh, gotta get gravy with this stuff. Man, it really adds to it. Like, the chicken is pretty good. It's nice and juicy, which I appreciate. But yeah, that gravy, it comes together. It is nice, savory. Mmm. Oh, man. Slides off the bone. Ooh. Woo! <clears throat> with the gravy. That's an A, baby. Hey! Hey, baby. So... Can you explain to the audience who don't know what this is, what this is? Uh, these are vermicelli noodles and it is in a seafood garlic sauce. It's mm. basically, the way that you make the sauce is that you fry a bunch of, um, I mean, it's probably, it may or may not be how like Jollibee does it like for mass production, mm. but traditionally you would like deep fry a bunch of shrimp shells mm. to extract like the fishy like flavor, the, sh the shellfish flavor. Right. And then you use that oil to cook a bunch of garlic and a bunch of different ingredients like, you know, paprika, turmeric, stuff like that. Mm. And you use that sauce and, you know, pour it over the, pour it over the noodles. Okay. Let's go for it. I got some egg on there too. Is that, what is that, beef? What is the meat? Uh, pork. It's pork. ground pork. Got it. Oh. Also goes well with the chicken because of the crunch. It's like very like chewy and the crunchy mm, chicken okay. makes a good pairing. Let's do a bite of the chicken. So, I do think it's a nice accompaniment to the chicken. However, for me, a little on the blander side for me. Okay. I like, you know, give it a shot. Maybe, maybe, maybe check that this batch is like up to, up to Jolly Bee part. Flavor is a little bland. It's a little, it's a little bland, but. It's within the, like, I, it's like, I, I wouldn't be able to say that as like an excuse to like rationalize it. Right. Um, so for me, I think it's gonna land in like, I think it's a good accompaniment for other things because <clears throat> not everything needs to be super flavorful, right? You got your gravy, you got your, you know, jolly spaghetti. The spaghetti is super sweet. So I think for this to balance out, I say B minus, I'm gonna be honest on this. Also, um, keep in mind that you should have put a- um, Like lemon on it? Lemon on it, I feel mm. like that changes it a little bit, but yeah. I don't know if it would be enough to sway. Got it. But it has its place, okay. Peach mango pie. Which one's better? I like ube. But... I've, I've never had the ube oh. pie. Do you I like this one? The peach mango pie. The peach mango pie is like the apple pie of like Jolly Bee. Like mm. McDonald's apple pie of Jolly Bee. Really nice crunch. Mm. Mm. You know, I don't love mango, but um, it's good. The texture is really nice. The texture is really nice. I'm going to say. B plus, I like that. And this is the ube pie. Ooh, I can feel that texture. It's good, but that's better. Texture's really nice. The ube filling, I think, could have a little more flavor. I'm gonna say it's a B. I think peach mango pie beats out the ube pie for me. Dave, did you wanna try a bite of anything <clears throat> that you maybe haven't had before, before we close this out? Yeah, I'll try the, I'll try right. the ube. See what I'd love to hear your, your ratings for anything that you've never had before. <sighs> What's your verdict? It's not bad. Yeah. But 
I don't really taste like the ube that much. Right. I, I kind of wish it was more flavor. Yeah. But what, what do we get on 8 F? 8 F? Using your curve as a guide, like, if, if C was a Yum Burger, mm -hmm. then maybe, like, C plus, low B minus. Okay. And then, was there anything else you wanted to try? You want to try um, mac and cheese? You want to try the, the mystery items? I would love nothing more than to try Jollibee fucking mac and cheese. It's very, like, it's very dense. It is very dense, yeah. I would say, if I were to compare this, comparing this to, like, Popeye's mac and cheese, mm -hmm. KFC mac and cheese. Yeah. It's on the lowest. It's, yeah. It's probably on the lowest tier for me. What'd you give it out of 8F? Uh, that would be a C. Okay. Burger okay, rap? Rapid yeah, fire burger. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the, wait, wait, wait. This is the regular yum. Yeah. It's got uh, the classic bread and meat <laughs> yeah. and schmutz. And schmutz, yeah. As dry as the Dickens, but this is my own like personal foible about like bread to meat ratios. Yeah, I feel like there's too much bread. I'm biting into too much bread. Mm. But this tastes like the yum. Like you know, this tastes like what you remember. Yeah, what I remember. Mm. What would you give it? It's a. C. I don't ever go to Jolly Beef for the burgers. Right. With cheese, this is definitely better. This is C plus. Yeah. The one thing. I could be mixing up like Jolly Bean in the Philippines and McDonald's in the Philippines, but mm -hmm. something about the sauce, about the cheese that I remember, yeah. the flavor that I remember, that there's also like a sweetness to it. Like uh, I remember like these burgers having a kind of like slightly sweet mayo to it. Okay. Do, do, does Filipino fast food tend to go sweeter? Yeah. Does Korean also kind of yeah. tends to go that way? Yeah, there's there's a lot of sweetness. Mm. I love the size of the chicken. Yeah. You feel like you're getting your money's worth yes. with a sandwich like this. Absolutely. Mm. Chicken is juicy. Yeah. I just wish it wasn't so lonely. Yeah, the thing is, like, a lot of them, there's, like, not enough sauce, right? Mm. Like, the chicken's pretty good. The One of the most damning things about a bad chicken sandwich is if it's dry. Mm. And it's not dry. It's juicy. Which maybe was the breading was a little crispier, mm. but it needs a sauce. That's really all that. Yeah, like it, if yeah. it had like a, like a meal or a relish in it, there, it would, I feel like it, it would, would hit a lot harder. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you know, it's like you know, I, I feel like I come down on Jolly Bee burgers and sandwiches pretty hard, but those are fine. Yeah. I mean, is it in poor form to bash other fast food places in a video about Jolly Bee? No, go for it. I mean, I would have this over like Carl's Jr. burgers, probably. So I think overall. Uh, the burgers are like fine. Like some of them are better than others, but I, I'm with him. Don't get the burgers. Like for me, I think my quintessential Jolly Bee thing is the chicken joy with the gravy is really good. I love the spaghetti. I really like the burgers take too. So really it's like all the stuff that I was familiar with um, and the stuff that tends to be towards my taste, that stuff slaps. And I think some of the sides are like pretty good or whatever, but I feel like you go, Chicken Joy, Spaghetti, Burger Steak, you got a solid selection there. They got a lot of burgers, but you don't really need any of that. Uh, I think if you're curious, I don't know, go for like a, a double yum with cheese or something, you know? Because I do like that they kind of use the, the same burgers for the burger steak. Otherwise, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, this is pretty good too. Oh, and the pies are good too. So overall, I, I had a good time. Uh, Dave, thank you for uh, having me at your home to eat nope. all this food. No problem. Thank yeah. you for giving me like nine sandwiches <laughs> with one bite. Yeah, we're about to go we're about to go de uh, devour with the rest of us a yeah. bunch of uh fucking Jollibee. So, see you in the next one. Bye. Woo!